At this point, you should have your octopus navigating freely through the maze without going through the walls. So you could make this game more interesting by setting up a score and removing points to the score whenever you're touching the walls, any of the walls. But for now, what I would like to do is to have an exit door over here at the end of my maze that will basically take me either to the next level or tell me that I won the game. So you can do this two different ways. Two different ways. Once you are in the stage, you could decide to add to this stage some color over there, some color green. And when the octopus touches green, then we're done. Another way that we can do that is by creating a new sprite that will represent my door. So let's create a new sprite that we are going to call level one door. So I renamed it. It's not draggable. We should not let the, the player being able to drag the door. And uh, we are going to, um, for now, I'm going to let it be draggable because I want to position it. But the costume, we're going to paint some kind of green square. So choose the color green and make a small square. Make sure that the center of the sprite is in the middle of the square by selecting this tool, set the rotation center. Say OK. I can drag this square over here. And let's see what's the X and Y position of the square by displaying it on the, on the stage. So let's, let's create some script for this exit door. When the program starts, we would like this exit door to be positioned over here. We also want to make sure that it's showing, because at some point we might want to hide it as well. And um, we can do that by going to control and say when the green flag is clicked, what I want is I want you to go to a certain position, which is I can read my position over here, 202. 149 and by going to looks I'm going to say I want you to show and the last thing is that I want to make sure that it's showing the costume of well right now enti entitled but let's remove we can rename it the same green door Okay, let's go back to the script, make sure that we showing the green door in the beginning. And I don't need to drag it anymore, so I'm going to uncheck drag it all. Same thing for the octopus. We don't want, once you're set with your game, you will not want the player to be able to drag the octopus around. So you will have to uncheck that. Okay. So let's hide the X and Y coordinate of the door. And let's make sure that uh, we can go to the door now. So for the octopus, now we have a new condition. And we can say when you touch this particular level one door sprite, you win. We can do that by going to control and say when something is true. What is the condition that we would like to have? Well, we can drag this Boolean block that says when touching the level one door, 
what I want you to do is maybe, well, say, say something like great job for two seconds. And let's reset the octopus to the original position. So we're going to duplicate this block and snap it over here. We can test it by going to the door, it says great job, and then it resets it back. So now you have an exit strategy. You can go back, navigate through the maze again. And you're gone. When you're testing your project, you might want to check draggable so you don't have to navigate through the whole maze. You just want to make sure that this is working fine.